The rapid expansion of the system's alliance was described by analysts of the era as ambitious, risky, and dangerous. Unlike the senior races of the Citadel Council, humanity showed an unrestrained willingness to claim and develop the historically turbulent star systems within the Attican Traverse and Scillian Verge. The opportunities inherent to these territories were equaled only by their challenges. Bordered by pirates, slavers, and hostile regional powers, the potential sources and types of conflict in which the Alliance might need to engage became more diverse and less predictable. The developing strategic environment of Earth's frontier colonies demanded a new approach to interstellar defense planning. In place of the large standing armies utilized by other nations, the system's alliance would defend its colonies with only token garrisons, intended to observe rather than engage, until a suitable counterattack could be marshaled by off-world elements. The M35 Infantry Fighting Vehicle, or MAKO, was among the first pieces of Alliance equipment to be designed specifically with this doctrine in mind. The requirements placed upon the vehicle during its development were challenging and at times seemingly contradictory. The M35 was envisioned by the system's Alliance military as a wheeled combat vehicle with a secondary role as a utility transport. It would be tasked as serving as both the principal weapon system and mode of transport for a mechanized infantry unit in every conceivable terrestrial environment. Above all, however, the M35 was required to be compact and lightweight enough to make its rapid deployment by Alliance ships not only practical, but desirable. While the final design would not be universally loved by its crews, the Mako was in many respects a triumph over the impossible. Its compact chassis lacked many of even the most basic crew comforts found in other comparable vehicles but this enabled the M35 to be carried on most Alliance warships and even the smaller frigates favored by the Navy. With space for up to eight passengers, including a commander, driver, and gunner, the Mako was well suited for use by naval infantry or the squads and fire teams routinely stationed to frontier garrisons. Its six large wheels and advanced suspension system gave the vehicle enormous ground clearance, and the M35 could achieve great mobility over even the harshest terrain. While not agile or particularly fast, it could easily climb steep inclines, and gained early renown for its ability to move through terrain that even dismounted infantry might find impassable. Four ventral microthrusters located on the front and rear of the vehicle further increased this mobility through brief yet powerful jumps particularly on low-gravity worlds. Furthermore, the Mako's hydrogen-oxygen fuel cell included a small Element Zero core, generating mass effect fields that could increase the vehicle's mass to provide increased traction or reduce its mass to aid the performance of its thrusters or conventional engine. When utilized in conjunction with one another, these systems made it possible for the M35 to be deployed via airdrop while fully crewed and operational. Once on the ground, it could be immediately driven off the landing site. To protect the Mako's crew from any number of harsh environments and battlefield conditions, the vehicle's interior was fully sealed while its armored exterior was resilient to both extreme heat and cold. A microframe computer system managed a network of laser detection arrays and ground-penetrating radar systems, forewarning the crew of laser-guided ordnance or anti-vehicle mines respectively. Offensive power was provided by a turreted 155mm mass accelerator cannon and a coaxial-mounted machine gun. While this was the standard loadout of a Mako in service within the Alliance Navy, other variants were instead armed to serve as a recon drone controller, mobile air defense platform, or stripped of their weaponry entirely for use as a battlefield ambulance. The M35 Mako was initially assigned to Frontier Colonies or stationed aboard Alliance warships. When compared to its immediate predecessor, the far larger and more cumbersome M29 Grizzly, the Mako was far better suited towards rapid deployment, but criticized for its relatively steep learning curve. Nevertheless, it effectively served in the role for which it had been designed, providing transport, reconnaissance, and firepower to Alliance Marines, and deterring outside aggression. By 2186, the M35 had been supplemented by the more advanced and agile M44 Hammerhead, but was still present in large enough numbers to make up a sizable contingent of the vehicles used in the battle for Earth. Even decades later, abandoned Makos could be found amongst the wreckage of a hundred battlefields, 
an unintended monument to the greatest struggle in human history. In Arsenal, the Templin Institute investigates the weapons, vehicles, and other constructs from across alternate worlds. If you've enjoyed this video and would like to join the Templin Institute, consider pledging to our Patreon page. Along with increased security access, you'll be able to vote in polls to determine future topics, get custom wallpaper every week, and receive some other exclusive rewards. 